What's the status? Legs and left forearm completely severed. BP very low. The wounds were cauterized at the time of the trauma, which kept... Cauterized? What severed the limbs? Unknown. In case you didn't notice... Wait, Anna? Ed? Anna. Uncle Javi! My angel. Javi, what happened to you? My vault. My... find it. My vault. I don't understand. What vault? Your uncle holds... the key. I don't understand. Find my vault. Your uncle holds the key. Having done view. Stay with me! Dr. Morales! I just... I don't understand why this had to happen. We weren't exactly close, but... He was still the only family I had left. I wanted to talk about the... Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? You didn't have anything to do with it. I didn't listen to him. What do you mean? He knew. He told me people were following him. That they were after his work. But I just assumed he was being paranoid. He gets that way sometimes, so I told him... Damn it! If I just shut up and listen to him. Someone was following him? And the explosion that killed him. Oh god. It wasn't an accident. You weren't close? Well, we were back when I was a kid. Javi was my dad's brother. I remember him being over at our house a lot, visiting with my parents and me. But then my mom died and my dad a year later. And after that, he pretty much stopped coming around. He never spoke to me again. Until today. Growing up, I always thought it was my fault. That I had made him mad at me. I thought he blamed me for his brother's death. Anna. It's alright. I know none of it was my fault. Before Uncle Javi died, he told me to find his vault. What was he talking about? His research. He must have kept a secret vault somewhere to protect it. He was working on something truly groundbreaking and powerful. If the wrong people got a hold of that kind of information, it could be very bad. Where is this vault? Until today, I had no idea he even had one. I can't process all this. I have something that might help. A book? It's his journal. He was always writing in it. It's locked. Like I said, he was paranoid. I don't know the combination, but I might be able to break it open. Hang on. Let me think about this for a second. Find my vault. Your uncle holds the key. Got it! It was my birthday! What's this? This book, it's all in some kind of code. He was even more paranoid than I thought. Wait, there's a loose note here. It's not in code. They're after me. Do not trust the police. The police? Somebody called? Detective! I didn't see you there. I can turn invisible. It's my superpower. What? I'm joking, son. Listen, I've pretty much milked the medical staff dry at this point. Are you sure you don't know anything about a vault that Morales may have kept? No. I mean, yes, I'm sure. Alright, we'll get some guys to search his residence. Now this explosion. Never seen anything like this in all my years on the force. Tell me, Mr. Reddings, what exactly happened in that lab? It must have been an accident. 
Dr. Morales toyed with dangerous substances of all kinds. He was curious to a fault, and if you ask me, I think it cost him his life. All right. Mr. Eddings, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you some follow-up questions back at the station. Of course. A anything I can do to help. And Miss Castellanos, I know you've had a rough day. I have some questions for you, too, but they can wait for tomorrow. Do you have a car, or...? No, I ride the subway. That's right. And you said that's where the two of you met. This morning. Anna, if it's all right with you, I'd feel better if I gave you a ride home. I'd appreciate a ride. Thank you. Ed, come along with me and we'll drop her off on our way to the station. Sure thing. <laughs> 